I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is changes in matter. Physical and chemical changes in matter. We're going to draw a series of objects and pictures, then we'll label them, then we'll color, I hope. Okay, starting over here on the left hand side, I'm going to put a dot, and from that dot I'm going to draw a square, and then right by the square I draw a skinny rectangle, then I draw a straight line out, zigzag, 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 straight line in, connect. Now, right where my zigzags are, I'm going to start another. Zigzag, 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 straight line up, zigzag, 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 straight line down, connect. I come back up to the top and I draw a straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, and then I just draw a little tiny tip with black. Okay? Now I come down, put a dot, draw a curve line out, come back to the dot, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up. Come right about here and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal, little straight line, straight diagonal, and then we're going to put wavy, wavy, wavy line inside. Okay? Next to it, we're going to draw a flat oval on the left side, bring it down, wavy, wavy line, straight line up, come back to the left, straight line down, wavy, wavy line, straight line up, connect, come over on the left, and we're just going to draw a curved line, up, connect, and mimic that line again, curved line, up, connect. Okay, now I come straight down again and I'm going to draw a flat oval. Come to the left hand side, draw a straight line down. Come to the right hand side and we're going to draw a straight zigzag, straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. Let's draw a little slightly curved line inside. Now we're just going to draw zigzag, zigzag, connect, zigzag, zigzag, connect, and down here zigzag, zigzag, connect. Okay, coming straight down, we're going to draw a straight line, come back to the top, straight line, straight line down, zigzag, zigzag, straight line, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Right here we're going to go zigzag, zigzag, straight line, straight line. And right here we're going to go straight diagonal, straight diagonal up. Come back to the first one, draw a little skinny curve line connect on the left, little skinny curve line connect on the right. Right here at the bottom we're going to go loop, loop, and then another loop, loop inside. Okay. Right here in the center, put a dot. We're going to draw slightly wavy line, slightly wavy line, curve line up, down, connect. We're just going to put some little baby circles inside. And then next to it, we're just going to draw some other pieces. Okay? Put some dots in there, I guess. Alright. Alright. Now, come over here on the right hand side. We're going to draw a flat oval, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Right at this point, straight diagonal out, little straight line, straight diagonal in. Inside, just do some curved lines and then a wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. Okay? Now come straight down. 
We're going to go zigzag, 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 straight line on the right, straight line on the left. Now we're just going to put some straight zigzags inside. Now at the top though, we're going to go curve line up, curve line down, curve line up, curve line down, connect, curve line up, curve line down, connect. And now curve line, curve line, curve line, up, curve line, curve line, up. Okay, straight down from there, flat oval, inside we're going to draw straight line, curve line, and then wavy line across, connect, come back to the left, little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, slightly curved line, connect, straight diagonal out, little straight line, straight diagonal in. Okay, now come straight down to the very bottom. We're going to do curve line out, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect. Come back over here, little curve line, straight line on the right, straight line on the left, little wavy line around, curve line up, connect, curve line down, connect. Next one, same thing, little curve line, straight line down, little curve line, straight line down, connect, wavy, wavy line, little curve line, little curve line, one more if you have room, little curve line, straight line down, little curve line over, straight line up, curve line, little wavy line at the bottom. Okay, those are the pictures. Now we'll get ready to label. And I'm just going to put, I forgot, little wavy lines right there. All right. Let's see how we're going to label all of this before we color. Okay, when you do a physical change, no new substance is formed. If you do a chemical change, a new substance is formed. So as an example, Breaking a pencil is a physical change, okay? But baking a cake, here's your batter, you put it in the oven and you end up with a cake, that's a chemical change. So that is the change in the matter, okay? When you come down and you break a glass, that's all the chips and stuff. That's a physical change. Okay. When you cut a piece of paper, that's also a physical change. Because the matter's not changing. Okay. If a cookie crumbles, you've got little crumbles, but no new substance is made. That is a physical change. Okay? However, if you boil water, you still have a physical change. But if you burn wood, that is a chemical change. Changes in the matter. If you take an egg and you fry that egg, that is a chemical change in matter. Okay? And finally, if you are burning candles, that also becomes a chemical change. Because you're going to end up with a new substance. That's how you can tell the difference between physical and chemical. That cake batter, when you put it in the oven, becomes a chemical change. I'm going to add some more wavy lines. Just like if you break that pencil, you still end up with pencil. It's just a physical change. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, like I've said before, the emphasis when you are doing 
a chart is really on the labeling and the drawing. So I use tan for my pencil and then I did yellow standard yellow pencil okay and then of course you have to have a pink eraser so that was that so then I thought okay I got my pink out I'm gonna come down and make my pink cake from my chemical change in matter but I'm gonna make my cake batter kind of a beige and I'm gonna make my spoon probably yellow okay then just so it didn't look too boring I took blue and I just added some curve lines on my mixing bowl okay now I came down to my glass and I left it alone just leave it alone but on my paper that I cut I made it blue and I wanted to make sure I made my scissors those red handled scissors okay and my scissor blades I made gray okay now for my chocolate chip cookie which crumbles into a physical change I wanted to make sure I had dark brown for my cookie and then I filled in my cookie space with tan or beige or brown a lighter brown okay now oops I forgot put a little bit of blue on my cake pan you know some of these lend themselves to color more so than others some of them don't gotta make a choice all right now my physical change with my boiling water can't do too much with that so I just made sure I made my pan gray and then since I had my gray out I came down to my fried egg and made that gray okay if you have room you can make your yolk yellow okay and I'm gonna come down and make my candles flames those will be yellow too and I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow triple color for my burning wood for my chemical change yeah burning wood you end up with ash that's a new substance okay put some red okay you'll do a better job than me and we might add some gray for some smoke okie dokie maybe a little bit of orange in my flames okay and your candles you can do any color you want but I did mine green you know like I said before when you do a chart you want to make sure that your pictures and your labels are all good so that you can read it okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my changes in matter all colored in remember that if it's a physical change in matter no new substance is formed like this cookie is still a cookie even though it's crumbled um, and the chemical changes a new substance is formed so that's like having the ash from the wood or the wax dripping or an egg being broken and being fried okay bye bye